guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Yes, I went to the hairdressers. I chopped a pretty good chunk of my hair off. I think about like two inches and right now all of my hair is healthy. I'm just happy with my new haircut. So today I will be talking about the books that I'm planning on reading this summer, plus also my summer releases that I'm just super excited for. Most of them come out in the beginning of June, so that's pretty soon, and some of them have already come out, but I just haven't bought them, but I'm just like super interested in reading those. I just absolutely love reading contemporaries in the summer because most of them actually already take place during the summer, and especially when this weather here in Holland is like this. Like two weeks ago, it was 27 degrees Celsius outside, which is super, super hot, and the sun was shining, and I just had this amazing summer feeling, and right now it is 14 degrees Celsius, so uh, I'm wearing one of my favorite sweaters again, and it's just not. What is Holland doing? And my summer break starts really late, like on June 23rd. Uh, yes, I know, and in Holland we only have six weeks of summer if you are in high school, but in America it's crazy like you guys are already finished halfway in June my god I'm so freaking jealous but this summer will be truly amazing because I will be going on vacation in Florida in America and I've been looking forward to this trip for two and a half years and it's just such a big dream of mine to go to America and this year I will finally go oh, I'm like on cloud nine right now I'm just like so happy and I haven't even been there but before I will talk about the books I also just quickly want to mention something else that I always mention at the end of my videos and that is that you guys can follow me on Goodreads because I feel like not a lot of you guys know that I have a Goodreads or that you don't follow me on Goodreads so I will leave a link to my Goodreads page in the description down below as well as my Instagram snapchat plus my email address right now let's get to the books that I want to read this summer and first off I'm gonna to start with the books that I have in my own book collection. So the first two books that I want to mention are Confess by Colleen Hoover and Slammed by Colleen Hoover. So I most likely will read Slammed by her because uh, I want to do a buddy read with Karis from Karis on Reading. She's such a lovely girl from England and she also mentioned me in one of her videos. She gave me a booktuber shout out and I was just so flattered by it. Uh, and we are planning to read this book together. I have read two of Colleen Hoover's other books. I read Ugly Love and Maybe Someday and I have absolutely love those two, so I'm just very excited to continue on with reading her books. I will leave a link to Karis' channel as well because she's just an amazing girl, she's so sweet and she makes awesome videos, so go check her out as well. So when it's summer you also have a lot of spare time, duh, and in my spare time I also like to play video games. I actually play GTA 5 and I have played The Last of Us, which is made by Naughty Dog. This book has both of my favorite things, so that is gaming and reading. So this is Ready Player One. I was really excited to read this book. It has a 4.3 rating on freaking Goodreads. Like, what the crap? Sounds like such a great adventure to read. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to start this one. Then I have Era Fire by Sarah J. Mass. And like I've said in the last couple of my videos, I really want to continue on with this fantasy series. And I also really like reading these during like the summer, springish time and I only will need to read the Assassin's Blade before this one and then I just really want to continue on with this series because uh, Sarah J Maas recently revealed the cover of Empire of Storms and it just looks so gorgeous and seeing Selena on those covers she's just so badass and this story is overall just so badass and that is what I absolutely love about this and then last but not least one of the books that I own and that I need to absolutely finish before I go to America is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling so I will be going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando this summer and I'm just so freaking excited for it. I will buy all of this shit that I don't need. I'm just so excited to finish this series but again not. I'm just also really sad that this is going to be over but I just love it so much and I will be rereading the series throughout my whole life for a couple of times. I already know that because it is just so freaking good. So those are actually the only four books that I have like displayed on my bookshelf that I just really want to get through this summer. Of course I have all these other unread books on my shelves that I eventually really want to get to but it's not like this summer I really want to get to those books. Just you know, whenever I feel like it, I will just pick those books up, but these are just the ones that I feel like I really need to read. So right now I will go on to my most anticipated releases of this summer. So like I said, some of them have already come out or some of them are coming out in the beginning of June, so I will not have to wait 
that long. So the first book that I really want to get this summer is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, obviously because it is a Colleen Hoover book. I don't even know what this book is about. I just know that Colleen Hoover wrote it and that is all that I need to know about it. Then I have a book that I already pre-ordered and that is Wonderlost by Jen Malone. I wrote it down on a list here. I will read the uh, summary on Goodreads because I'm just really bad at giving a freaking summary. We follow this girl named Aubrey and Aubrey can't think of a better place to be than in perfectly boring Ohio and she's ready for a relaxing summer. But when her older sister Elizabeth gets into real trouble, Aubrey is talked into taking over Elizabeth's summer job, leading a group of senior citizens on a bus tour through Europe. It just seems like so much fun and the cover is stunning. I mean, look at it. It's just so freaking beautiful. Uh, but I cannot wait to receive this book and go read it because it just seems so, so good. Then another book that I really want to read that involves traveling in it is The Loose Endless by Carrie Firestone. Look at this freaking cover. Again, this is just so beautiful and it makes me feel like summer is so nearby, even though it's not, but it just makes me so happy. So this book is about a 17 year old girl named Maddie O'Neill and oh wait, Maddie O'Neill Levine? Is that her name? Jesus, that is a long name. And her grandmother uh, announces that she is terminally, terminally, is that how you pronounce that? Let's see where it stands. Terminally ill. And uh, that her grandmother has booked a family trip on a cruise ship. Maddie has to deal with, of course, your grandmother's sickness and that she will probably die. Well, that means terminally, right? It just seems like a lot of fun, like on a cruise ship. And of course, like it will be an emotional roller coaster with her grandmother, you know, preparing for death probably. But I'm just so intrigued by this story and it just seems like actually a lot of fun. Another book that I've seen a lot on Instagram lately is Dreamology by Lucy Keithing. This book sounds so interesting as well. All of these sound very interesting and intriguing. That is why I put them on this list. But this is about a girl called Alice and she has dreamed all her life of this guy named Max and then she walks into class another day and she finds the guy who looks exactly like Max but he is not the way like Max so she feels kind of disappointed and stuff like that but I believe that Alice has been in Max's dreams as well and they are just the complete opposites of what they have dreamed about of each other. So the next book that I'm very interested in is You Know Me Well by David Levithan and Nina LaCour and I will just give a very quick summary of this book and that is, you know, from Goodreads because I just can't give summaries. So Mark and Kate have sat next to each other for an entire year but have never spoken. For whatever reason, their paths outside of class have never crossed. That is until Kate spots Mark miles away from home out in the city for a wild unexpected night. Kate is lost having just run away from a chance to finally meet the girl she has been in love with from afar. Mark meanwhile is in love with his best friend Ryan who may or may not feel the same way. When Kate and Mark meet up, little do they know how important they will become to each other and how in a very short time they will know each other better than any of the people who are supposed to know them more. So David Levithan and Nina LaCour are very well known for writing about a uh, gay romance relationships and I've just been very intrigued by that. I have actually never read a gay relationship in a book before and this just sounds so nice and uh, I really want to, you know, read other romances as well as just like straight romances so I really want to read a gay romance too. So the last book that I have on this list is The Way Back to You by Michelle Adorani and Mindy Scott. I've just been looking around for more books with road chips because of road chip? road trips because of Amy and Roger's epic detour and this one includes a road trip as well. In this witty, heart-hugging novel, two teens take a spontaneous road trip across the southwest to meet three strangers who receive the life-saving organs of their late best friend. So their best friend has passed away so they have to deal with the loss and then you have a road trip and then you have summer. Just yes and I really want to get to this and I believe this already came out. Yeah, May 3rd. So uh, yeah, I just really need the money to buy all these books and then I just can read them all because I just really, really want to. So those were all the books that I want to read this summer plus the books that I probably buy this summer because I just really want to get to them. Let me know in the comments down below which books you really plan on reading this summer that you just have to get to or that you really want to buy. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. I also really want to thank you guys for, you know, getting me to 400 subscribers. That is great. And I uh, just thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.